Sorry, my my memory ran out on my phone, so I'm going to try to continue where I left off here. This area right here looks like there's some unprotected area, um, so I'd recommend the same over here as far as uh, putting some, bringing this mulch and kind of cleaning it up a little bit and uh, putting some landscape fabric, some filtering landscaping fabric, and then covering it back up with either mulch or, or rock. Again, I, I prefer rock. But it looks like the whole front yard here is pretty much mulch, so we can figure on this same material. Um, I would also recommend that um, on the foundation in the front right here, have some on this side right here too, that that is pointed. And there's a couple areas. See that gap there? And there's some gaps in there. Looks like someone attempted to point it before. Um, it needs attention for sure. I'm going to include that in uh, my estimate. Definitely recommend it. So here, right on the other side of the, the fence here, that's definitely a low spot. Water is going to get right down in there. That needs to be protected. Built up again. Landscape and fabric protect. Same thing. Um, the concrete where it meets the foundation I would recommend sealing that joint between the slab and the foundation wall you can see you got some some vines or some coming through there the good news is it's got proper drainage on the on the patio which is great to see but this, that needs to be filled up and protected. As far as the back, um, there is some low spots. And again, we're done with that plastic. And that plastic uh, can definitely cause issues. I see it all the time. You have low spots throughout this whole perimeter. I've already just checked some sporadic areas. And there's one right there. That's low. That's low. That's low. There, there's really a, a good amount of rock here. So I didn't check every square inch, but there's enough low spots where I'd feel comfortable saying that um, this rock needs to be pulled back. This side over here, all that rock needs to be pulled back. So you could probably put it over here temporarily, pull up that plastic, get rid of it. Um, and in this case, since we're so close up to the siding, I think it'd be more of an issue of taking dirt out so we can kind of get that water to, to come down in, in this area over here where it's not going towards the house. Same over here. Um, I mean, that rock is all the way up against the, the bottom of the, the siding. Um, I'm going to take some measurements to, to know for sure, and, and my estimate will reflect on what I find, but... Um, Depending on how much rock is there, um, we might be able to um, just make some adjustments to this grade um, without taking too much dirt out, and I think we'd probably be okay. But there's definitely water getting in, um, in that crease right there and right here as well, this side. Um, it's just, that's what's happening. That's We see it all the time. Um, so I, I'm going to put everything in writing. Get it over to you. Any questions, concerns, ideas, anything, please let me know. I'll help any way I can. Thank you.